There is a design issue within the Modbus protocol that can cause you to want to tear your hair out at times, and it has to do specifically with the memory addressing within the protocol. Personally, I tend to call this the plus one offset issue, and it's something I explicitly point out in my Udemy Modbus courses. So in the rest of this video, I'm going to give you a brief example, I'll show you what it looks like and how to handle it. Okay, so here we have a laptop with some Modbus master software running, and we have a Modbus slave, which is a PLC, and they're connected via Modbus TCP. Now, let's say that both these devices implement the Modbus protocol to the T, the complete specification as put down. Now, let's say that this device here has an input register at 30,101 with a value of 120 in it. Nothing special about that. If we want to read that value, we have to type in 30,101 within the Modbus Master software. Now, what it'll do when we start running the Modbus Master software, it'll send a request to the slave and it'll send this address. No, I didn't make a mistake. It will actually send the address, which is one less than what you typed in. This, believe it or not, is in the Modbus protocol specification, and it's horrible. I don't know why they did this. However, this device now will see, okay, 30,100. Since it implements the Modbus protocol specification in the same way, it adds one, gets 30,101, and says, okay, they want 120, sends it back. Everybody is happy. Now comes the however and the but. Not all vendors actually conform to the Modbus specification, and that includes the plus one offset. So here's what happens sometimes. Again, different PLC. This doesn't implement the plus one offset. So we have this again. We type in this and it sends out 30,100. However, since this doesn't implement it, it actually goes to literally to 30,100 because it doesn't implement plus one offset and sends back 5,200, which is the value at 30,100. It sends back the wrong value. So this is the rule. If both master and slave implement the plus one offset, everything's fine. If both don't, everything is fine. If one does and the other doesn't, you're going to get problems. Now, most vendors will not tell you anything about this in their documentation, which is why it's so important when you get a Modbus device, do a test with some Modbus master software that you've been using all along and test a particular register or registers that you, you actually know the value from beforehand to see if you're getting the correct value. Then you go from there and you can compensate via a plus one or minus one. And that's how you handle it. Any new device, test first, go from there. Okay, hope this helps.